Okay, after creating the tube, let's create the base. Now the base of the um, of the wood is 200 millimeters by 100 millimeters by 12. So let's create one. Let's create the base first. So I just create a space. So let's drag it out. Now don't worry about the size first. You drag it out and let go of the mouse. So we key in 200, comma 100. And we have that. Now there's a certain thickness to it. So let's go and use the push and pull function. Bring up 12 and we'll enter. Okay, so currently this is what I have. Now if you're worried about it being blocked, you can just shift using the rotate camera function. Now there is a hole that I drill in. So I need to roughly know how far is it in. So for example, to ease to find out the center, I use the measuring tape or the tape measure tool. So I will click at one side and I fill it in. Now remember everything is in millimeters here. So if my tap started, the center of my hole is at 50. So I type in 50 and then maybe it's in the center again. So I type in 50 also and get it there. So this is the center of my circle. Now I click on my circle. Now the tap of the size of the circle of the hole that I'm going to drill is radius 30. So I'm going to click on the center that I already found. Drag out 30, enter. Okay, since I drill in, I use the push and pull function. Press it down, so maybe about 6 mm. And I get it done. Now, let's add in colors, or if not, let's add in other shapes. I can use either the semicircle function or the pencil tool to assist me. And normally, I will use measuring tape so that my drawing will be more precise. So from here, perhaps I will drag in 50. Yeah, I will use the 3 point up or 2 point up. So I will click one end another end and I have it there. Now how do I remove the, this space here? I will use the same push and pull function. Push down 12. Okay, the thickness of the wood is 12. Then I can also use the pencil tool to draw a line. And I will drag it down. 12 again, 12, enter. I remove it entirely. Now how do I get rid of all these dotted lines? I go to edit, delete guides, and once I'm done, select this piece and make it into a component. Okay, I can always add colors, so I can go to wood. I can select the wood piece that I'm using, and it will be like that. Okay, once I've done this. Now, once I put it in the create component section, I can actually rotate it or shift it around, but I'll work on it later.